Greetings YouTube, Sega Zombie here and welcome to another video. Now this video is going to be another nostalgic memories based video and it's a spin-off, it's sort of like a continuation of the last video. Now there is a method to my madness, you're all probably thinking, Sega Zombie, what are you doing? You've done, a, you've done a video on the Nintendo Switch and you know I do love the Nintendo Switch. My interest in it had dwindled somewhat until Sega, yes, Sega have got involved. And there's a game in particular that has sparked loads of memories that I want to share with you guys. And that's what inspired me to do the last video and to namely talk about this, which is like a Chinese knockoff version of the Pro Controller. Go and check out that video, guys. Um, this isn't a bad controller, but there's a reason why I wanted to get the Nintendo Switch finally docked into its docking station and on my big TV. And that reason is, can you guess it guys, the reason why I wanted to get back into the Switch and get it docked is virtual racing. What a game. I saw um, Retrotech 100, he done a video on virtual racing, I knew it was coming. I didn't know though that it was getting released in Japan way before well i don't think it's actually been given an official announcement over here yet to when it is hitting the e-shop in the uk but i couldn't wait i've been going everywhere to get some yen points so i can get into the japanese store and download that game and my god i have but for before we get to the nintendo switch i just wanted to talk about and it's funny how with sega a lot of my passion for sega and a lot of what really really inspired me by Sega is racing games now Sega were amazing at racing games AM2 produced a game that just sticks in my mind and that is Virtua Racing Virtua Racing I can remember it was a summer holiday I think I was I was in the final years of high school maybe the second from last year something like that i can't quite remember i know it was very early 90s probably around 91 time 92 me and a few mates we planned for the first time and i think this was inspired if i remember rightly i can remember we had a local fair that came as it did every easter we had a fair that come down to um our town and they had street fighter 2 there and I couldn't remember all the kids just piling in there playing Street Fighter 2. And that's what inspired me and a few mates when it got to the summer holiday, we planned our own first little road trip, our first little getaway as our gang. We went to Felixstowe. And I remember a load of us bundling onto a train, a few of us went down to Felixstowe and all we was talking about is we're gonna play Street Fighter 2, we're gonna play this, we're gonna play that. Then when we got there and we hit the arcade, I can remember being absolutely blown away by this particular machine. Walked up to it and we'd never seen anything like it. I can remember just walking up, seeing the different angles and the different camera views you could have in a race. It just blew us away, all them flashing different coloured buttons so you could hit them and select the different camera modes. There was a couple of lads playing on it and this of course is Virtua Racing. What a game. I can remember in all good intentions to go there and absolutely cane Street Fighter 2, which we did. You know, we put our 10 pences in and we all um, um, had head to heads on that. But that day will always be in my memory, apart from the fact that the train was cancelled and I had to get hold of my old man to come and pick us up from Felixstowe. <laughs> but aside from all of that, um, I can remember virtual racing and I can remember being amazed just seeing those 3D polygon graphics in a racing game. Before then we had like hard driving by Atari and I believe there was a Namco sort of racer, I can't recall the name of it. They just didn't have the polygon count, they didn't have the frame rate and it just, they didn't have that sense of speed. And I think the first game to really, really capture that was AM2's Virtual Racing, and what a game. It had three courses. You had a beginner course, a medium course, and the expert course. And I can remember 
just absolutely chucking money into this machine. And me and one of my best mates in particular, we were just absolutely blown away from this game. And we spent all our money on it. Um, it was an absolutely fantastic memory, one that will always stay in my mind. So when I found out that Virtual Racing was finally going to get a port on the Switch, this is what's real sparked my interest again in the Switch and to set the controller up so the methods of my madness make sense in the end, guys. <laughs> they do. But I do love the Nintendo Switch and I'm sure every now and again I might do a video on it catching up with a few of the games I play. But essentially, it's still Sega based and it's because I'm just absolutely in awe of virtual racing. Now, the story doesn't really stop there. We had that fantastic summer holiday day, the freedom with our mates having a right laugh and the day was spent playing Street Fighter 2 and Virtual Racing. Now, after that, I can remember it being a year or two later, in the magazines, yes, it was happening. I can remember so wanting Virtual Racing on a console. No one thought it was possible. No one thought that that game would ever make it to the Mega Drive, but it did, guys. And what a fantastic port for the time it really was. An absolutely fantastic game. And it's a blue spine, which makes it even better. But yeah, Virtual Racing on the Sega Mega Drive. It had its custom-owned cart to rival that of the FX chip in the Super rival Super Nintendo. But yeah, this allowed the polygons to be thrown around and render those 3D graphics. And this game, still to this day, is one of my favorite races, one of my go-to races. And I still play it now on the Mega Drive. I can remember a few years later doing a car boot sale. I can remember going around a car boot sale and that's how I picked up my 32X. I can remember finding it in a box. I can remember finding it in a box with a load of other like Mega Drive games. That was just loose. I can remember the 32X was a major flop and I bought that, Virtual Racing, and an unboxed Doom. And I can remember giving the guy, I think it was about 10 pounds for it all. He said he wasn't sure whether it worked. I remember getting it home, having a few problems with it. It was one of the first things that I had to pull apart and try and repair, apart from a few joy pads where in, in a rage quit I'd thrown it and I was like ah panic and because I had to then bodge it and you know repair it so I could play another game but apart from that that was one of the first things that I had to take apart clean and put back together and that was the 32x and I can remember the first thing I put into that was virtual racing and just being absolutely gobsmacked in how great it played on the 32x and that is still a really solid port and to this day all these years on, I would say that the 32X has probably always been the best port of virtual racing that I've played anyway. And until the Nintendo Switch versions come along, M2 have done an absolutely cracking job of this. Guys, seriously, you need to go and get on that Japanese store. It's really easy. Just change your location in your personal settings to Japan. You just need to get hold of PlayAsia or someone on eBay. That's what I've done in the end. Just get yourself a thousand yen so you can go and get virtual racing. But that's enough of me waffling on. I actually want to show you some of the game. So in a click of a finger for you guys, but in a bit of time for me, I'm now going to set up that Nintendo Switch and we're going to play some virtual racing. Oh, yeah. So like I said, guys, <clears throat> main reason that I've got this, the Nintendo Switch back docked onto the big TV and this TV is set up in the games room I house this has all my um, mini consoles on predominantly and the good old Nintendo switch any recently stocked the switch on here solely for virtual racing so let's get on and show you the game guys I 
hopefully this is coming through nice and clear the camera's not going to do it justice this looks pretty good in handheld mode but i just knew this game was going to look awesome on on the tv you've got single play online match which i can't get that to work it's probably because it's japanese offline match ranking play replay your manual staff credits um, not as detailed as some of the other M2 stuff with option wise but that really doesn't matter let's get straight into a game guys X button coins us up we'll go for beginner race we're using the trusty old knock off Back in the day, I always played this first course in this view. And then I change it up in some of the other courses. I'm no expert yet at this, but look at these. This is a step up from the arcade. I think M2 have done an absolutely amazing port here. Well, nearly lost it, guys. Yeah, I need to hone my skills back into this game. Oh, nearly taken out there. Oh, just hearing that little music every time you hit a checkpoint. That was such a great little touch. Being a little over cautious into that bend. And I'm taking that one completely wrong. That's a bit of a better time. We can do better. Oh, why did I take my foot off the gas there? Cut him nice and sharp, take him. He's got it all wrong, but he's recovered. Yeah, the draw distance, everything I'm sure is better than the arcade. Because I'll keep saying that M2 have done fantastic here. Come on, we can do better than this, Scott. Off camera, always seem to play games better. It's the pressure, guys, of you watching. Oh, nearly stacked it. Come on, we need more horses. Oh yeah. No, he's gonna stack it. No, he isn't. He's in first. Ah, oh, just don't seem to be able to break the 38 barrier. Not for the want of trying, guys. Not for the want of trying. We're going to power into this corner. He's going full pelt into this one. still not a 38 just slightly off it but that's a goal guys I finished the race in first place obviously I've gone into depth in this one just to show you guys how it plays but it's absolutely fantastic I've been hooked on this I've got so many games sitting ready to play which I had planned but virtu virtual racing has just <laughs> put a put a stop to all of that 
Hell yeah! So best lap 39.03, total time 3.19. I always used bat back in the day. I was a massive Batman fan. So if you're wondering why it's B-A-T, that's why. Right, so we'll have a quick look at medium. Hold down the gas pedal. And this one, I like to play in a different camera. Correct me if I'm wrong guys, but I think MM, M2 have definitely tweaked this. It's so smooth, you know, I played the arcade version a lot back in the day. And this just seems to move around so much better, so much more responsive and better. The background seem to definitely have a longer draw distance. Oh, I nearly got taken out there, completely wiped out. That's a god awful time for an opening lap. I love that, love the little effects in this. Oh, and he stacks it. <laughs> Oh, you've got to be careful of that grass. Just take your foot off the gas. So the trick of that, when you clip the grass like that, zoom out a bit more. Oh, probably not clever to do that when you're going under a bridge. And zoom right into the cockpit. Just remember being blown away. You've got to remember, guys, that we take this for granted in races over the years but this was the first game that I remember where you could change it up like this and have all these different views and it just added so much to the game me and my mates we all had our favorite our preferences he's losing it again but this is just a mess about guys just to show you how well this port has been converted across to the Nintendo Switch. Really excited. I hope this is first of many ports from Sega ages. Come on Sega, get your asses in gear. There's so much IP that you could bring to the Switch. And I just hope everyone goes out and buys this game. And it encourages Sega to release a lot more of this. There's so many great arcade IPs that never got a decent or never got an arcade, a home co conversion at all from the arcades. We need this. Oh, we need this in our lives. But there you go, guys. I'm not going to bore you with loads of gameplay. And you can stop laughing out. My God, awful. I just cannot play and talk at the same time. Oh, he didn't finish. I'm going to end it now. Just showing a little bit of the last course. But I'm Sega Zombie. I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. Until the next time. Goodbye, I'll leave you with the babes. And off we go.